So in here, we're going to talk about dilation transformation and see how it affects the graphs. So our first example is the absolute value of x. So if we look at the top right, I mean top left, we have f of x equals the absolute value of x. So the graph in black, that's the parent function, absolute value of x. So let's see what will happen if we have a whole number outside the absolute value line. So our second function is 2 times the absolute value of x. So that one is in green. And we see that it's being drawn and it's closer to the y-axis. So it's either shrinking or compressing. So let's take a look what happened if we have the number, a whole number 3, inside the absolute value. And we see that it is also getting closer to the y-axis. So it is shrinking or it's compressing versus the parent function. As you can see, the graph in orange that is being compressed, so it's closer to the y-axis versus the parent function, the one in black. Now, let's take a look what would happen if we have fraction, one outside the function, so outside the absolute value line, and one inside that's on the x. So a fraction that's inside the absolute value line. So we have a function one-fourth times the absolute value of x. So if you see on the left side, one-fourth times the absolute value of x, that one is in blue, and we see it is being pushed or pulled away from the y-axis. So if you compare it with the parent function, the one in black, we see that it is being stretched. So from the parent function to the transform, the one in blue, it is being stretched. So let's take a look at the one where it's one-fifth inside the function. So if you want to see the function, it's on the left. So the absolute value of one-fifth x. That one will be in maroon. And you will also see that it was graphed further away. So if you look at the right side, it was graphed further away from the y-axis. Same on the left side. So we can see that it is being stretched from the parent function. So again, the parent function is the black one. So the one with the one-fifth, the maroon, it's stretched away from the parent function and it's stretched by a factor of one-fifth. So let's review. If it has a whole number, regardless if it's outside a function, which is green, and if it has a number inside the absolute value line, which is orange, we can see that the green and the orange both compress closer to the y-axis. So if I have a whole number outside or inside the function, it will compress. Let's take a look at the fraction that was outside and inside. So we have a fraction outside the function, the blue one, and then we have a fraction inside the function, the maroon. We both see that both of them, the graphs stretch. So it was graphed further away from the y-axis. It was graphed further away from the parent function, which is the black one right here. So if you have a fraction and it's outside or inside the function, it will stretch. So our next example, we're going to talk about the quadratic graph. So again, if you're trying to see what's the functions, it's on the, your left-hand side. So the parent function, the one in black, is x squared. So now we're going to talk about what would happen if you have a whole number. So the one in orange, if it's being multiplied by 4, which is a whole number, we see that it's graphed closer to the y-axis. So that means it's being compressed. But now let's see what happens if it's being multiplied by a fraction, one half. So this, the x squared, is being multiplied by one half, and it's in purple. We see that the graph is further away from the y-axis, so it's stretch. So if you look at the parent function, the one in black, versus the purple graph, the one that's being multiplied by one half, we see that 
the purple graph stretch away from the parent function. So just like in the first example, if it's being multiplied by a whole number, the one in orange, it's being compressed. Now the one that's being multiplied by a fraction, the one in purple, is being stretched. So similar patterns just like in the first example for absolute value. So let's focus on our third function, x cubed, or x to the third power. So on your left hand side, you can see the function where the parent function, x to the third power. So that one is in black, so let's center that. Now, let's discuss what would happen if it's being multiplied by a whole number versus being multiplied by a fraction. Now in these new, next two parts, the numbers are inside the function. So let's see what happened if the cubic function, it's 5x, so a whole number inside the function. We see that it's being graphed, the one in maroon, is being graphed closer to the y-axis on the top and on the bottom. So we can say that the graph is being compressed by a factor of 5. Now let's see what happens if it's being multiplied by 1 fourth, where the number is inside a function. Now the one in green, that's the one that's being multiplied by 1 fourth. We see that it is graphed further away from the y-axis, further away from the parent function, the one in black. So again, the green one was graphed stretch away from the parent function. So it was stretched by a factor of 1 fourth. So let's review with the two transformation. The one multiplied by 5 is being compressed by a factor of 5, the one in maroon. And then the one being multiplied by 1 fourth, the one in green, it was stretched by a factor of 1 fourth. So just like example 1, example 2, whole number, it will compress like the one in maroon, fraction, it will stretch like the one in green. Now moving on to example four, we're going to discuss the square root function. So again, on your left hand side, you will see the function. Now the parent function, square root of x, is this. The one in black. Now let's take a look if it's being multiplied by a whole number. So we can see that its graph, the orange graph, is closer to the y-axis. So we can say that it's being compressed. But what happens if it's being multiplied by a fraction, like 1 seventh? So the one in purple, you can see that it is graphed further away from the y-axis, further away from the parent function, the one in black. So the one in purple being multiplied by 1 seventh is being stretched. So let's take a look at the two transformation again for square root. Being multiplied by a whole number is closer to the y-axis, so it's being compressed. And we look at the it's being multiplied by a fraction it is graph further away from the y-axis, graph further away from the parent function it is being stretched by a factor of one seven. So there is a pattern, just like an absolute value of x, uh, the quadratic x squared, the cubic x to the third power, and then the square root, so the square root of x. So if it's being multiplied by a whole number, it will compress. If it's being multiplied by a fraction, regardless if it's outside a function or inside, it will stretch.